Oh, they think they can't be seen. I see you. Everybody knows slime when they see it. Slimy people. Some people. That's what they used to, and it's trauma bonding. Some people will allow you to use them because that's how they hurt themselves by allowing you to use them. But you ain't getting over. They think they can't be seen. I what see did you. K Boss here. Going over some research. And I hope y'all are doing superb. Now, what are we talking about today? We are going to go over the importance of having your ARs done. Now, everybody spends money and I get it. And in season four, and maybe before, maybe season three, you should have these done. So if you're new, uh, uh, new at the game, um, I want to give you guys a breakdown of why is it important to get your ARs done. Okay, and ARs are alliance recognition. So let's just go out to the main it's because of this alliance. stuff right here, right? It's because of the alliance duel and your process and getting your ARs, or excuse me, your alliance recognition or ARs done will help you in a multitude of ways. You see that times this right here, this times times two. You see that times two. That time two lets you know how much you're going to get times two. So everything here times two. So getting these completed are very important to get the main thing that most people need. The gear. You know, the gear. So th in this illustration, the value of the of this arrangement here, all this stuff right here. Okay, look at all that. Who needs electricity? Who needs wood? Who needs stone? Who needs a little... Who needs... Who don't need data chips? Uh, who doesn't need those uh, orange hero medals? Okay? And then you get some amethyst. And then and then you get this 120 gears. But when you get your ARs done, it's times two. I don't even know why you're even playing if you don't have your ARs done. Anyway... I on some pointers on this so if you are um, starting off at this level right um, this level is very important because this coincides with a day called the first day which is the gathering so this helps you with the gathering of the stone and wood this helps you with um, gathering speeds for coins gathering speeds for electricity and I will tell you, if you don't have this max, do not pick any gold tiles or any of the electricity tiles because it's going to be there for a minute. You know what I mean? So make sure that you start with that. So um, the next thing is you have the premium rewards. Now, this gets you from the, the first three chests to the second chest. I strongly encourage people to at least get here now I will tell you if you do not get to the further parts in this research and you just stay here you're gonna have a you're gonna have a serious problem not making the quota in 157 most of the major alliances have a quota and the quota is how much you bring in per week from versus right um, this right here is expert so this is uh, all points hundred percent so you get a more value of all the points that you're currently doing so it multiplies it that's basically all it does now going to this next process now these right here the marching speed um, the gathering which is important then you got your unit uh, training camp so you get more to train and then this one right here is uh, the training of the troops speeding it up so this coincides with military drill day right because you and then um yeah so you definitely want to make sure that you get here as quickly as possible this would be i would say depending on it now this is for the free-to-play players the more boxes you get the more you qualify for, the more gears you receive. Now we're going into the special rewards. Now this is for those seventh and ninth boxes. Now 
keep in mind if you're brand new to the game or you you know you're in season one season two time frame early season two um this part right here is probably one of the key factors and let you know if you can maintain a certain status quo in certain alliances if you don't have ninth box you're wasting your time that's just my opinion now this goes and coincides with a multitude of things this is also the gathering so it gives you additional 100 points right so we got an additional 100 this will be 120 or excuse me 200 for just the gathering portion right and this will be for the earning of the coins so this is all the golds then you have the incentive for structure building so that's a hundred points right so that goes on day two and then day three is here which is the research incentive right so you get an extra hundred now keep in mind look at the cp right go back to these and look at the cp cp you'll gain a whole bunch of cp there's one two three four so there's eight all together that's almost what 900 and some odd thousand maybe a million cp just for getting this so exponentially get that much larger um overnight really because if you put a million p if you can put a million uh, cp on your account um it's going to be here all right so then after the research you have the pirate incentive um this goes off on enemy buster day because killing the pirates you get additional more points um, this one is for training. This is for a military drill. So military drill it speeds up uh, gives you more points for um, Creating troops or training and they say then you have recruitment. This is for your tickets That's the fourth day, right? So that's uh, Thursday typically depending on where you're at, but look at the CP points for that 206,000 Crazy and then you got the the uh, the killing right the killing incentive killing so uh, again look at that you, you get another two hundred and six thousand um almost two hundred and seven thousand so at the end of the day why is it important to get your ars done well the first reason is get more gift boxes the more points you can get based off of the basic stuff that you're currently doing and then you're able to uh translate that by getting more points and more points equals more of those chests or boxes right and so the last but not least this is the final section this is when you're almost done this is this is like the final hurrah the last lap right so all points you get an extra 200 um percent so if you add all that stuff up you're getting almost five to six hundred percent more for each of those different days just by finishing event king right now i'm going to tell you this is going to take some gears so sit down buckle up and make sure you only do things with your gears on gear day is what i call it so it reminds me to use my gears right because you want to continuously uh, uh get those gift boxes you continuously want to make sure that you are uh always um you know saving the certain attributes or certain uh, supplies for that day so I do not go out of what I call it out of day is what I call it meaning I do not use anything that would be entitled so let me give you an example okay like your recruiting tickets I only use recruiting tickets on recruitment day that's day four right and then you have the same thing here with the training, right? I don't train or use my training speed ups for this event only. Only do I use that during that event, okay? So last but not least, one more. One more just gives you double the rewards. That's at times two I was showing you. And so once you're able to get all nine boxes and then you're able to save up all your uh, supplies and resources for those specific days you should be able to score fairly decent Hell now no. as you can see I'm number one um, I'm, I'm visiting right now 
and I haven't spent but maybe what I bought the uh, I did buy the warrior uh, warrior pack one that was 10 bucks but I haven't done anything else other than that and I'm scoring on average 36 30 36 million by military drill right so we still have one more left and as you can see we have training a few lines people that I'm in with ours so it, it I go over training um, tips on what's important what's important the way you get judged the way you, in our planet you move up the only way you can move up is through versus doing your tiles and scoring well in Star Wars and any of the what uh, they what call the C's. Uh, go to it real quick uh, Alliance Intel and this is your Alliance this tells you what you're doing as far as the week is concerned by contributing and then it also goes by the season and what you uh, contributed towards the whole season so this is how they can see if you are going to be a good fit right they want to see you're doing well in this particular area right here that means you're contributing let's go on mine so it tells you how many seasonal building captures i have thirty-three thousand and some change and then um seasonal upgrade over two thousand right so that's what you want to make sure as an individual i try to teach people how to look sexy i teach people how to look like you know like they can be recruited you know and if you're over here doing good doing what you're supposed to be doing which is the tiles your enemy buster excuse me versus event excuse me and then um making um star wars happen right showing up for star wars and there's a space battlefield now i look at people's stats and i only put on the people i'd rather have 10 people that are doing it right than 20 people because if they're not doing it right, typically, they ain't showing up anyway. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure you have to uh, stay vigilant in your tiling efforts. You have to stay the vigilant ARs. as well, which is that so you can get an ARs, but, you know, alliance recognition. But your ARs are going to be out there um, to see, one, they can't see it, but they can also see how well your group is doing right now we are in a smaller group here so we don't have the big wigs we're not in the diamond league but we are doing quite well this uh, in our in our lane which then i know we we'll probably end up moving up and start getting tagged again because all my people are getting recruited oh this is another thing i wanted to uh, spit out now if you're not in 157 but you're in our grouping we know the season's almost over and we want to formally invite you to come try and experience 157. Now, if you're in our grouping, I'll show you what I mean by it. Right here. So this is this. These are all the people in our group, right? These are all the different um, alliances. If you're in any of these here and you're under 40 million before the end of the seat, under, well under 40 million at the end of the season, you should be uh, looking at, uh, you know, coming over we have a uh, pretty good safety um, we do have an open fire for anybody who's not part of the big five alliances typically that just I means area, area. if you're not in our hive area uh, uh, you should put a shield up or stay far far away and hit because we will take your gold and your electricity if, if the rents do that's how we do it here so at the end of the day, we want to make sure we're clear on what we're looking for when recruits. Now, don't just come on over here, pop over here and be like, oh, I'm here. No, no, no. Don't do that because then you get burnt up. Make, make sure you're reaching out to the alliance. Or excuse me. Make sure you're reaching out to the president, which is Galvaranium, I think. Um, and then discuss some information with them. So that way they can do some research. So they can look at your account, see where, see where you can fit. Now, if you're a smaller account, like, you know, roughly under 10 million or so, you'll end up in 4RT, get you trained up, so you at least can do the points and or, or not points, but Alliance Intel and or versus Star Bay, uh, and, uh, Star space, uh, space Battlefield. So if you do all three of those and you contribute, well, excuse me, four, if you contribute well, that will allow us to give you feedback on Hey, you're not doing this. Hey, you're not doing that. Or if somebody from, let's say, 
uh, one of the big three wants and looking for people like, you know, Twin Cities over here. She's over here scouting people, looking at people's uh, recruiting as well because once again, they can't stay alive unless we stay alive, right? We need to keep people um, at, at advanced level that will help them in the future, hopefully. So that's the mission here at 4RT. So I hope that makes sense on why it's important to have your alliance recognition done. This stuff right here, all this, this right here, all the way to the end. This is gonna, this is gonna either take you time or cost you a lot of money or both, right? So it's important for you to get as many of the free gears as possible. So we teach, and you should, if you're this far ahead, going, getting ready to go into season five. But if you're a part of a smaller alliance and a, a smaller planet um, out there that is looking to uh, move to the next level, um, have security, be around, I mean, be around a cool bunch of people. You should definitely hit up uh, the president of 157. Uh, you can also reach out to me. Uh, I can definitely f uh, send you feedback um, if you need assistance with uh, migration. Um, as far as the two different options you'll have. So you grab, you see where it says Space Wander. And then you see where it says places you can go. This will tell you the requirements for each different planet. So everybody in this grouping should be able to move to us if you wanted to, you know, then apply, right? Because you have to apply, or apply, it goes to the president. Let's see, hold on. It won't let me show you ours, um, but it will go to a president. Now, also you'll see where it says NA for president. That we That's typically known as a dead planet, right? So most of these planets here, like on 153, yeah, so they have it. Uh, let's see, 160, they have one. So my home planet, 158, <laughs> is dead as a doorknob, right? So I wouldn't reach out to them. But if you wanted to come to 157, you see the screen, you'll see the alliance rankings. This will show you who's who's doing what in that particular location. So. Um, if you're coming from 159, you definitely want to reach out to our leadership, uh, hit that, hit the, you know, hit the fly. Uh, we are looking for us uh, that are tired of, uh, excuses and want to win. So at the end of the day, what's important for this particular video is the same thing for anybody who's coming in from recruitment. If you do not have your ARs done, alliance recognition, you're not scoring well in verses because they're going to want to see what your verses are. Then if you, they will look at also that uh, alliance to Intel. They're gonna want this screen. So you wanna, you know, cause they're probably asking if you have Discord, cause most of us have Discord. At the end of the day, when you come over here, if you're able to come over here and you don't fall within the big three status, then you'll come to 4RT, we'll help you get trained up. Um, you'll get some re season rewards if you come before space wandering under the immigration. Trust me, there are two different ones Don't be by immigration ones. Oh. Don't buy these immigration ones and then turn around and have to go and buy the space wandering because I was over a certain amount at the time before coming over here. So I had to use the space wandering. Uh, one thing I'll say about the space wandering, you will not get the season rewards. Um, however, you will get all the regular rewards, but you'll be able to come to the planet And that's the reason why you want to reach out to a someone in leadership to make sure everything's cool So anyway, I'll get off the soapbox. We're at the 20 minute mark here. I thank you for paying attention and Staying this far some housekeeping. Please hit the like button at the bottom lower left if you're on discord make sure that you tap through to the actual uh, YouTube channel I'm on and hit the like button and then if you would like additional information or updated information on the current events on the game uh, especially getting ready to go into season five so anybody who's below that definitely would want to get some information uh, I will be doing a full breakdown of the season here too as well 
going forward. So that probably my last one for the season and what you should be doing to get ready for season five. So um, that way you understand to save stuff from Hero Battlefield or even do additional um, uh, tile. Well, you can't do tiling after week seven, but you can still produce those tile, not tiles, but crystals, those fire crystals, obsidians. Um, that's what these things here are for. So I'm gonna stay tuned for that. Um, you'd have to change your senior masters if you don't have it set up. But I will be doing the end of the season prepping. And then prepping for season five. This is K-Ball. And I'm out. I'm not friend of period. People be weird, bro. Their morals be different. Their energy is not the same. Real niggas don't want to be nowhere to be real fake niggas, period. I don't want to greet them. I don't want to bump them. Be wicked. Fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you complaining about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me.